Andrews Cathedral School began in 1885 and its origin was as a school to educate the children of the clergy and to teach them to sing. St Andrews Cathedral School is the quintessential city school of Australia. We're the only school in the country that is immediately adjacent to its civic buildings, in our case the Town Hall and the Angan Cathedral of the city. The city is our campus and our students are very familiar with it and very used to it and can almost entirely be expected to be responsible within it. Once you're out in the city, it's, you're not so much a student, you're a member of the public. Yeah. And yes, you reflect of your school, but you're interacting with other members of the public as just another member of the community. We send our students out within their subject periods to the museums, the art galleries, the concert halls, the drama theatres, the business precinct and the urban geography of Sydney. We can weave real life learning directly into our curriculum. I have to say one of the unexpected um, bonus of, of the kids being in the city was that actually my husband, who works in the city, you know, fairly long hours, um, was actually able to participate in their school life a lot more. Having the transition from primary school to high school can be a big leap, but St Andrews makes that really easy and you have orientation day where we have current year seven students who really help out and they give you a good idea of the school. There's so many kids from different areas that you're bound to find someone who lives near you even though people come from all across Sydney. I love it so much. I've got friends from the Upper North Shore and friends from the southernest part of the Shire. We are a great melting pot of people from almost all postcodes and almost all areas of Sydney. Cove Education has tremendous benefits uh, socially. Uh, life itself is co-educational and we're firm believers in the value and the appropriateness of co-ed. Co-ed works at SACS, especially in a city location because it gives you those social skills that you're going to need once you graduate school. The school is needed to evolve uh, and change to meet the needs of a changing society. We teach not just about but through technology and we teach in a way that uses technology to enhance learning. We have a strong tablet program, an iPad program for years 7 to 11, which will extend into year 12 and has also gone into our junior school. We say to our students and our parents, we offer two excellent credentials, the highest school certificate or the International Baccalaureate Diploma. I think where the, I, where the IB got me was the extra subjects and also the advantages of, of applying to overseas universities. It's not just about academic results, it's really about ensuring that the child has a, an opportunity to experience all facets of life. We seek to build into the whole lives of young people, into their character, into their moral development, into sustainable lifestyles and life values we don't educate brains on sticks. And so our co-curricular work is meant as a complement to what happens in the classroom. Students that throw themselves into the co-curricular life of the school do better academically. And that's partly because they have a sense of belonging which fires up their academic interest as well. It's also because there's a sense of purpose, a sense of something greater than themselves to which they're contributing and of course the great stress release and lifestyle advantages of wonderful co-curricular activities. I do a lot of co-curricular work such as music and ensembles and maybe a little bit of sport or going to the gym. I sing in the senior choir and I sing in the boys vocal ensemble and we've been part of some amazing performances. They have really great tutors who teach you a lot and the ensembles, there's so many ensembles to fit every single age group at skill level so that you can get the best out of the instrument that you play or you can learn a new instrument and we do a whole lot of performances and everyone is skilled and helpful and it's a lot of fun. Junior school students have the rooftop playground which is a, a famous feature of St Andrews Cathedral School. The playground is on the roof. roof. So there's a soccer court, a basketball court, handball, handball courts, and then 
parents' equipment. Mm -hmm. but sometimes our parents wonder whether a high-rise building is just a concrete experience. But we have local sporting grounds at Wentworth Park and Sydney University and we bus our students to those for sport. Basketball, table tennis, water polo, um, soccer, rugby, cricket. I think um, sport develops a sense of character and well-being. Um, learning to work on a team especially and in involving other people and working with other people to reach a common goal and a mutual achievement together. Our outdoor education programs, which are initially based at Kiriki, try to get students away from sitting in front of screens and to give them an experience of the wonderful Australian outdoors. The particular goals are to extend students beyond their comfort zone, to teach them new skills, and particularly to teach them resilience. When they come back, they are delighted with their achievement and with what they've learnt, not only in skills, but what they've learnt about themselves. When I was in year 10, I did a 20-day trip down to the Kosciuszko National Park um, and ended up in Marlow in Victoria. And that was just life-changing, I think, for me. It really changed my perspective. The outdoor education program works as a nurturing device for the school and it nurtures the students to become who they want to be in realise that they can be who they want to be in the face of adversity and challenges. Coming back to school when I have something like exams on, I just think, well, I've, I've hiked in the Northern Territory. I've been metres away from, uh, from cliff faces and I've survived, so what are exams to me? I can, I can do anything and that's what Kirikis really taught me. St Andrews is the only independent school that we know of that has its own Indigenous school within a school. This was initially a contribution to the Rudd Reconciliation Agenda and it's an instance of Christian social justice as we attempt to do our part to bridge the gap for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander young people. I think we have a really unique system of pastoral care at St Andrews. You know, we have this relationship with teachers and directors that we you don't find in other schools. It's the teachers and the staff and the school, the school is a community, I would say. Definitely. Even, even the students, it's a school as a community that goes above and beyond. St Andrews Cathedral School is a highly relational school and so to us community is really valuable. We are a big family. We like to look after our members, whether they be students or staff or parents. What the school's done for me in the last six years is more than I ever would have imagined when I came to the school. Taking those opportunities is the main idea of St Andrews. That's why I like it so much. <laughs> <laughs>